Welcome to the Cinema Foodie tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to bake ambient occlusion into your model. Now if you don't know what this is, go to Render Settings right up here, select Effect and Ambient Occlusion. Now it's automatically checked. So you can see what this does, I'll quickly render it. And what Ambient Occlusion does is it adds this kind of shadows right along the inner edges. If I remove this and render the scene, you can see it's just very flat. Now for games or speeding up the render process, because this slows it down just a little bit, you might want to bake the texture, the ambient occlusion into your model. So what I did, I went ahead and created a cube and did some extrusions on this cube, just so we can see the edges. And now in previous versions of Cinema 4D, the way you would do this is you would go up to the render menu and click on bake object. Unfortunately, that's not here. You can find the button under customization, customize commands, just type in bake. But it's a lot easier, if you remember, to click your object, the one that you want to bake, and go up to this object tab in the object manager, and go down to bake object. Click this, it will bring up a little menu. All you have to do is select ambient occlusion. The rest you can leave it as is, if you want to change the size of the texture, that's all right. The format, I'm just going to change it to JPEG. And I'm going to copy paste in a destination. You can click the ellipses and then find wherever you want to save the texture. And then all you have to do is click bake. And what this does is it bakes two things onto your object. One is the texture that you had and two the ambient occlusion. And now you'll notice that it actually created a second object. It hid the first one and duplicated the object with this texture tag in it. So if we look at the texture we have a color tab which is just the basic color that we originally had. And under Diffusion, you'll find our ambient occlusion mapping. So now if I render this, very quickly you can see the same effect exists on this cube, except we don't have this ambient occlusion checked, and it's a lot faster. It doesn't take as long to render. But you'll notice it's a little darker. And so if you want to adjust the darkness in Cinema 4D, the way you can do this is under the Diffusion tab, go down to Mix Strength and lower it, maybe around 80%-ish. And if you render that, that looks a little closer to what it originally did. Now, just for comparison, you'll notice how quickly that rendered. If I open up my other cube again, so you can see this one, and select ambient occlusion, and now render it, it takes a, about a second longer, almost a second. So this just it really saves time, and it's also good for video games or other types of rendering things. It's especially useful in video games if you want this kind of effect without a lot of render time. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was a very short tutorial. I hope you found it informative. Check out my other tutorials and see you around.